This video is about the reverse layup and I'm going to go through the basic fundamentals of this move so that you can practice it and that you can take it on by yourself and do it in your one-on-ones, your three-on-threes and your five-on-fives. It's not an easy skill. There's two ways to do this. You can do a reverse set with your inside hand. You can also do it with your outside hand. But it's essentially a move that you do when you're attacking the basket as you go on baseline. So I'm going to attack the basket with my left hand. Now when I'm going for a baseline layup, reverse layup as it's called, I should be dribbling with the hand of the side I'm on. I'm on the left side, so I'm dribbling with my left. And we're only going to take two dribbles. It goes like this. I take one, two. Now, I'm going to step with my left foot, and I'm going to bring my right leg up to jump off. And as I do that, I'm going to go with my right hand, because I'm using the right hand inside like this. Now, did you notice how I used the backboard? Using the backboard is so important, because if I try not to use the backboard, and I just use the rim itself, it's going to be a very difficult angle to use when you're going at a full pace game. Always use the backboard. left hand. So I'm on the right side, which means I should be dribbling with my right hand. Again, I'm only going to take two dribbles when I'm attacking baseline. So as I go baseline, one, two, from here, I step with my right, and I'm going to jump off with my left leg with my knee high, and I'm going to use the back one again like that. Now we're doing the reverse hand layer with our inside hand. Now, it's very similar to taking a normal layer with your left, right, left, and your right, left, right. In this case, I'm on the left side using my left hand, it's going to be left, right, left. I'm always using that backboard, and I'm jumping off my left leg this time, not my right. So I'm jumping off the same leg with the same hand I'm using. So it looks like this. One, two, one step, two step. going for these layups, you must put some spin on the ball like this when you're going for them. Because you can't just essentially chuck it up like that. You've got to give it a bit of rotation. Watch the ball as I go for a layup, it's going to have a lot of spin on it. I'm using my fingers like we spoke about before in finger rolls, like that. So I'm here, it's got spin, okay? It's got spin. I'm always giving it a bit of backspin. So the backspin looks like this. So just give it a little bit of my fingers, a bit of rotation. That's how you get the ball moving nice and swift.